Hey everyone, this is Nate with Nateflix, and this is my review of X-Men Days of Future Past. So just to give you a quick rundown of my particular history with the X-Men franchise as far as the films go, um, I enjoyed X-Men Part 1, I love X-Men 2, I moderately like X-Men 3, I hate X-Men Origins Wolverine, I liked regular Wolverine, uh, the Japan Wolverine, and I liked First Class quite a bit, so I definitely had high expectations going into this movie, knowing that it had some of the cast from First Class, which I like, had um, some of the cast from the old X-Men movies, which I liked, and I think overall they did a really good job of giving everyone a moment to shine. Everyone had a good scene, pretty much. Even, even the smaller ones were really well done. A lot of humor in the movie that's actually really funny, more so than the last couple movies, which I think were a little too serious. And so overall, I thought they did a really good job with, with the movie as a whole. Now, as far as the acting goes, this movie features a ton of mutants. You got Colossus, Iceman, Sunspot, New People, Blink, Warpath. You got old people, Storm is in there, Wolverine is in there, Professor X is in there, Magneto is in there, Mystique is in there, everyone's in there. And so I think it's tough to make sure that everyone gets their, their moments, which they do, but the main stars are probably a James McAvoy as Professor X. He does a really great job. There's a really cool scene in there uh, towards the end of the movie where he meets Patrick Stewart as the future Xavier. And that particular scene is pretty cool, getting to see the two of them uh, talk to each other. Um, Hugh Jackman, at this point, I mean, he's, he plays himself, basically. He pretty much is Wolverine. Any movie he's in, I just call him Wolverine. So he does a great job, obviously. Michael Fassbender is really great as Magneto, again. A smaller part than First Class, but really nails it when he's in there. And of course, Jennifer Lawrence plays Mystique. She has a bigger role this time than she did in the previous movie, and she does a good job. Overall, the whole cast did a really good job, but the main players did what they were supposed to do, which is portray their characters well, and, and I think everyone really did. Well, this particular movie is more so character-driven, story-driven than it is action. However, uh, the action scenes in this movie are fantastic. The opening fight scene, they had the clip that went online early, you might have seen it, with Iceman and Blink and Colossus fighting the Sentinels in the future, is fantastic. It looks amazing. The, it's very thrilling. The fight is awesome. Like Everyone gets to do their powers, show their powers and I think it was, it was fantastic. There's a lot of fights, like hand-to-hand -hand fights throughout with Mystique. You know, her power is just to change, so most of her fights are almost like martial arts type fights and they're all really well done. And the big finale with the Sentinels and Magneto is also really well done. It doesn't quite have like the destruction level of like a Godzilla or uh, like Captain America, but it does have enough action if that's what you're going for and it's, it's really well done. But I would just say, kind of temper your expectations. It's not, you know, 45 minutes of action. Uh, but what's there is very, very, very good. As far as what sucked, uh, I would say my popcorn was terrible. The textures in the theater were terrible. Uh, someone kicked my chair three to four times. Sucked. Awful. I hated it. As far as the movie's concerned, nothing sucked. Uh, one minor gripe I would say is the lack of a really great like lead villain. Usually in these comic book movies you got like one big bad guy who's really awful. This doesn't have that. The Sentinels are probably the closest and they're they're pretty vicious, but there's no like main one bad guy. So that that was kind of bad, slightly stunk. But what sucked was my movie theater. Overall, it was pretty good, but I, there was a lot of issues then I already told you what they were and I really hated them. So just to wrap things up, uh, X-Men Days of Future Past is a fantastic movie, really good time at the theater, like I said more character driven, less actiony so be prepared for that but if you're a fan of the X-Men you're gonna love it, I promise you, you will not hate it um, and I would definitely think you're gonna like it so I'm gonna give it nine tiny X-Men logos out of ten. You will love it, it is great. Right now I'm telling you with my mental powers to subscribe to my YouTube channel and tell all your friends to check out my videos. Like, comment, share, 
Let me know what you think and stay tuned when we do 22 Jump Street next time.